What do you honestly think you'll achieve with it? The lockdown is a necessary precaution to control the situation. We have enough to handle as it is. But what are you doing to let people pass through? Most people just want to leave the city to meet with their family. We will reevaluate the relocation plan at some point, but for now, the lockdown holds. Now, miss, I've got work to do here. You really should stop looking for trouble and make sure your own family is safe. Hey, I heard what happened. How are you? Fine, I guess. Probably just really tired. Mm. They locked the whole place down. Put all of us in quarantine. I'm actually sitting in a plastic bubble right now. No kidding. Jesus, that's insane. What about you? How are you holding up? I'm on my first break now in six hours, eating a candy bar for breakfast. But I shouldn't complain, I guess. John, it's Vic. I just got a call from Deb on the night shift. The inmates are starting to look sick. And one of the guards must have brought it in, and it looks like the supply ferry isn't going to make it over. So I don't want you or Travis coming in. The jail's already understaffed. They'll riot. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm not paid enough to be stuck on Rikers Island with 20,000 cons with fucking Ebola or whatever. Don't go to work today, John. It's not worth it. Hey, baby. Looks like I'm coming to New York. They're sending the army to Manhattan? Is it that bad? National Guard, baby. It's fine. We're coming to help the police and stuff. And you're not meant to know, so keep it on the down low. I'll call you when I know what's happening, okay? Okay. It's getting pretty scary here, Jane. You just hold tight and stay inside. It'll all blow over soon. You wait and see. City Council Accessibility Office. What can I do for you? Yeah, this is Staff Sergeant Max Cooper. I need translators to help man the depots. Armenian, West African dialects, you'll know better than me anything rare for New York. Most of the times we get families and someone translates for the rest, but shit, it's just crazy down here. I'll make some calls and get back to you. Thanks, ma'am. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's me. I have no idea when they'll let me go home. Are you at work? Tell me you're not at work. Listen, honey, we're having all kinds of trouble with the main turbine, and if the power goes off, the whole island's screwed. I can't leave right now. And even if I wanted to, well, the army's here, and... Wait, they're holding you there? Holy shit, Jack, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm okay, but I don't know when I'll get out of here. So go to Sandy's, take the boys, and stay inside. I'll get home when I can. I love you. And these forced relocations, this dark zone, what is the point of that? We've already had a press conference on this. All the information is out there. Anything else is classified, and I can't comment. So you're sticking with the story that this is some kind of decontamination procedure? It's a delicate situation that we must take care of pragmatically. And we must focus on the bigger picture. There are millions of lives at stake here. 911, where's your emergency? Can you hear me? I have my score down on the phone line. I need the cops here. I'm being attacked. Okay. Is your life in danger at this moment, sir? Well, what do you think? I got the shot fixed up, but these hooligans are about to break through. If I don't get somebody down here, I'll have to take care of myself. All right, sir. Where's your shop located? Line, how may I help you? Oh, thank God. I try to reach the hospital, but I, I think I need some help. Okay, ma'am. If this is a medical emergency, you should call 911 instead. Is it an emergency? I have a fever, and I can't stop throwing up. I just can't stop. I think I need a doctor. Ma'am, I can forward the call to the emergency center. Can you tell me your name and address? I'm all alone. I don't want to. I don't want to be alone. And we got three more bodies since yesterday. Bagged up and decontaminated. Okay. We should have a pickup for you within the hour. Great. Honestly, I don't understand how you cope with it. Me, I'm really starting to... Hang on. Something's going on. Sir, you can't be here. This is an official Sarah Recovery Center. You'll have to... Stand back and no one will get hurt. We're only here for the supplies. No one needs to... Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Sarah Helpline, how may I help you? Yeah, I, I want to report a missing person. It's uh, my brother. Okay, ma'am. What's his name? Trevor. It's uh, Trevor Sloan. And when and where was he last seen? We were at the uh, outside Madison Square Garden two days ago. He disappeared in the crowd. And then I uh, waited for him by the post office, but he didn't show up. I have no idea where he is. And now I'm all by myself. I can't do this anymore. Bliss is completely out of control. He's got us executing civilians, and when Sergeant Alvarez refused, they shot him for treason. We need someone on the inside. I'm not killing another civilian. You shoot one civilian, we save a thousand. We're counting on you. You're beginning to sound just like him. Just carry out the mission. That's an order. Coast Guard just caught Hales with 50 kilos of coke, paddling up the East River in a military surplus Zodiac. Engine failure. You shitting me? No, ma'am. And where are the fireworks? I want to hear some Chris Dalcorks popping. When we locked her up, she just wouldn't stop grinning. I asked her if she was happy to be home, and she spat in my face. Said, yeah, because now I get to take you all down with me. You think she's infected? I'm at the hospital right now. Don't tell me you're buying into Bliss's crap! Sorry to burst your bubble, Han, but people are savages. Yesterday we caught a guy taking a dump in a Sierra Reservoir. Poison the whole neighborhood for a laugh. I've seen messed up things. That's my point exactly. But it's no excuse. Benitez has it right. These people need help, not a bullet in the head. And if you can't see that... Then what? Well, I guess it's over. So we've got 120 beds and an additional 25 now in the East Wing. All in use? Yes, ma'am. With a wait list. But that's just the start of our problems. We've got staff shortages as well. We can barely take care of the main building. I know. It's the same story all over. Yeah, Sarah's got their hands full. But we're barely functioning over here, and I'm afraid of the infection spreading to the other patients. Is there anything you can do to, I don't know, speed things up a bit? I'm sorry, sir. We're doing what we can. 911, what's your emergency? Hey, hello. I'm down on East 21st, corner of uh, uh, 3rd Avenue. My friend, she's been sick of flu or something. She passed out on the sidewalk, and she's not waking up. Is she breathing? Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. Her, her forehead's really hot. She she's all pale and sweaty. Okay. Make sure she's lying down on her side. Okay, okay. Yeah, she is. Can you, can you send an ambulance or something? As soon as we can. We've been getting an unusually high number of calls the last couple of days. But we'll be there soon. Just stay with your friend and we'll be there ASAP.